Another nice model from the workshop of the late Mr. Bernard Walker. This is a Stuart Double Ten, built in 2007, as it says on the plate. And again, it's a wonderful engine. It's done quite a lot of running as this, mainly at exhibitions. The front bearing slightly worn. You will notice the flywheel is non-standard. Bernard used to like to make his own flywheels. This is manufactured from a piece of steel and it's milled on a rotary table, which is quite a feat, really, when you think about it. It's much easier to use a casting, but Bernard used to do things like that and make things special to himself. If you've had a look at the gallery on the mainsteam.co.uk website, you will see the kind of steam launchers that I build, and this is an ideal power plant for a radio-controlled steam launch. I have most of the other components, I just need to build the launch, and I'll probably do that later this year. So watch this space, I'll be putting a video up as I do it. This is a very powerful engine for its size, I think it must have silicone rubber piston rings. It runs very well indeed in both directions, and I can't really fault it. Although I've called this a Stuart Models Double Ten, it's not exactly a Stuart Models Double Ten. It has brass cylinder covers, it also has brass steam chest covers without the Stuart S on them. I may change this if I want to be anal about it, but really, the thing runs so well, I'll probably leave it alone and just put it in a boat. I can radio control the lever because the valve gear is very free running. I'd like a support rod at each side of the expansion link. I think that's the only modification I would make. But having said that, it works perfectly well as it is. And once again, thanks to the late Bernard Walker.